Have you also heard of a YubiKey and not quite known what they're about and what they're for? Well, in this video, I've got two of them that I'm going to use, unpack, set up, and uh, show you everything that they're about and how they can make your life a bit more secure. Yep, here we are again. I am going to show you something called a YubiKey. Um, they're not green, but the ones I was sent, like these ones, come on a piece of green cardboard. I know. Um, the, uh, I have two here. There's a YubiKey 5C, NFC, and the 5C Nano. And uh, I'm going to set up both of them. And the funny thing is, I have no idea what to do. Uh, I haven't actually done this before. And I was waiting for you to join me and try and figure out how they work and why you would use them. And also, these are very durable, obviously, they're hardware things. Um, they don't require battery. Hey, very good, you don't have to charge anything. Um, they cost about 40 to 60 bucks US, roughly. Um, and I was sent these by YubiCo, the YubiKeys from YubiCo. Um, as actually, they sent me a direct message on Twitter, said, would you like stuff? I went, sure. So here we are. But so you can see them better, let me just change the camera angle for you. All right, hang on. All right, now we can see them a bit better. So here's the get started pack. Um, let's have a look at this one first, I think. Ooh. Eh. Eh. All right. So it comes with this little lovely tab thing here. I'm doing an unboxing, isn't that exciting? No, it's not. Um, and that's it. It just looks like that. It's a tiny little USB key, USB-C in this case. You can also get USB-A. And this particular one has NFC inside of it, so there's a, a, a near field communication chip inside. So this is meant for mobiles. So you can tap it on your phone if it has an NFC receiver on the phone. So that's the the YubiKey 5C NFC, right? So 5C is the latest that time recording series of keys, as far as I know. And then there's the other one, which is similar, but it's just a USB. So this one you would just leave in your computer. That's more of a you know permanent solution. So let's have a look at that. There we go. Tiny, tiny USB-C. So that would just, I think, just leave in the camera. But um, okay, let's try and set them up. I'm going to start on the Yubico website. In fact, uh, the Pisa Green Cardboard said yubico.com slash start. So that's where we're going to go. And that gets you to yubico.com slash setup. That sounds like a good thing. So it says here how to set up your YubiKey. So click on your YubiKey to see supported services. All right, so let's scroll down and find the YubiKey that I have. It's uh, that one there. The, the 5C NFC is the one. Okay, so that gets to, what's this? Applications supporting YubiKeys. All right, so I guess we find the application that we want. There's different kinds of security protocols one-time passwords, etc. These are the different types of ways that you can authenticate, I guess. Categories, if I want to find a specific app. Um, I'm going to set it up with LastPass at first. So I'm just going to search for LastPass. Um, there it is. I have the premium LastPass. OK, oh, new tab, right. Um, right, uh, let's get some setup instructions then, I guess. How would I set this thing up? Okay, so here's more instructions. So at this point, I kind of get a like an aha moment because I realized that there is no setup for a YubiKey. I thought you'd plug it in and set it up or something and then install the next, 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 etc. No, you go to the app you want to use it with and you associate the key with that app. Just like if you had an authenticator app with, you know, on your phone, like Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, whatever. So that's kind of where it clicked for me and said, ah, that's how you work it. So. I think that's important, but let's continue. So let's go to LastPass instead. I'm going to open my vault. And in here is obviously I've already logged in. So I go to the account settings. And in here there is a multi-factor multi multi options, hard words. And I go to the YubiKey. So currently it's disabled is the state. So let's edit that to, I guess, enable it, I think. All right. Ah, so here we go. Yes, so we enable YubiKey. And now we need to associate the YubiKey with it. All right, so I need to insert the YubiKey into my laptop. So we put in the five, 
uh, C and FC. All right, insertion, you go, ah, I gotta touch it. All right, so we go to the text box, and now I touch the metal part of it, and that just pastes in that long string, which is the, the token or the key for the Yubi key. And now that, uh, I just click update, I guess, and that should be it. Update it. Ah, of course, I just gotta verify that I know that I'm me, otherwise you could just, anyone that would get access to your last pass if you left your computer would then be able to associate their own YubiKey. So we just verify that I know that it is my last pass account. Yes, all right, sure, browser to double encrypt. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's just updating it. And now the Yubico status in LastPass should be updated. Give it a sec. Yep, there we go, enabled. Ah, excellent. So let's see how this actually works. So I've opened up Edge here and I've gone to Bing or MSN.com, I think it is. And I'm. you can see I'm not logged in with LastPass, so now I'm gonna log in. So first I gotta put in my email address, uh, my, my standard credentials for LastPass. So there's my email address and then the master password like so, and now I should be asked for the, there we go, for the YubiKey, multi-factor auth. And then as the instructions say, you just gotta hold your finger on the on the YubiKey. So uh, here we go, I'm gonna put my finger straight on the YubiKey, look at that, and it pastes in the token, and that's it. I'm now done two-factor auth for YubiKey. So something I know, which is my username and password, something I have physical thing, being the YubiKey. So let's set up the 5C Nano, which is the other YubiKey, the little tiny one. So I go back into LastPass, and this should be the exact same procedure into account settings and then into multi-factor auth. You go again, multi-factor options, sorry, up the top there. And we then go and we edit the Yubico uh, premium multi-factor authentication option. There we go, so we go to YubiKey number two. And again, all I have to do now is just touch um, the actual 5C, there we go, and that pastes in a different token. So this is a long text string that gets pasted basically when you touch the YubiKey and anyone can touch it. So it's not like it's fingerprint recognition or anything. So again, save the YubiKey uh, association by typing in my master password into LastPass. And this um, will be different. We'll look at Facebook a little bit later on the mobile, but this will be different for all apps on how they associate the YubiKey for multi-factor authentication. And now I have two keys associated with LastPass. That means I can leave one, the 5C, for example, in my laptop. And I can have um, the other one in my pocket on my keychain and use it on the go with LastPass. So that's kind of handy. Now in Facebook, let's try and associate it with Facebook. So I go into the settings in Facebook. And there are some security um, settings here. On the left, you can see security and login. And down here is two-factor authentication, and you can see there's you know, use two-factor auth, so we're gonna edit that option. And I already have a text message auth, I believe. Um, oh, authentication app, sorry. And we can use a security key, so we click on security key. So that's not a specific thing to Yubico, that's any security key, because there are other brands available. So now we're gonna insert our security key, it's already inserted, so I can register it, um, with Facebook, basically. So this is done through the browser. You need the latest version, I think, of Chrome or Firefox or Edge to do this. And now I need to set a pin for my security key. So that's an extra option that Facebook has with Windows Security. I put in a pin for it. And now all I have to do again is touch my security key. Um, so in this case, it's the 5C NFC. You can see here that I'm touching, just like that. And now Facebook is associating my account with that Yubi key or that security key. So now they are associated. So now that is a two-factor auth option that I have. So now if I log out of Facebook, just as an example, just to see that we actually use it to log in as well. And you can see here, there is my lovely picture. So yes, I wanna log in as me. Yes, continue and give it a sec. Okay, insert the security, it's already inserted. I just gotta ins you know, do the pin, of course, because it's you know a bit more, and then touch the security key. So as I touch it, it just it logs me in. So it's instead of having that two-factor auth on your phone, I have a security, a physical thing that's inserted into my computer that I can then touch, and it does the same thing. So you gotta have it with you. 
let's just have a look how it works on the phone as well. So I'm on my uh, Facebook uh, Android app here, into settings, into security and login, and here you can see that I have two-factor authentication as an option, and then your security method, Lars's security key is already uh, registered with that app. So now I'll log out, and then uh, I have to remove the password as well, because otherwise I'll just hit my name and it logs straight back in. So remove password, which means that we now have to log in with password and the UB key. So I'm gonna enter my username and password using LastPass, and then I'm gonna insert the UB key into the phone. I could also tap it, but in this case, I'm gonna insert it and then um, use it as a USB option. Um, for some reason, Google Play thinks it's a keyboard. I don't know. So um, now it's inserted and it just, I touch the key as before into the laptop and I'm into Facebook. Simple as that. So it works for mobile too. Yay! Okay, um, I hope that makes sense. We kind of set up everything now um, on two different UB keys. So one was a little tiny nano, one was with NFC. Um, wasn't that obvious, if I'm honest. I didn't, I couldn't get my head around that there was no setup. So in fact, you don't set anything up with the UB key. You take it out of the package and that's it. You didn't uh, associate them with all the apps. So I use it for LastPass, I think. It's probably the most the one that makes most sense. Um, I set it on Facebook, as you saw, but what if I use Facebook on a different computer? I wanna make sure I carry the YubiKey. I think that's the point, is that like you carry your phone, you carry a YubiKey. Um, and that kind of brings me to, or well, what if you lose it? Well, you can uh, obviously de, you know, de-associate, unassociate, remove them from all the accounts that you're using, right? So you can use another YubiKey. So it's a bit like if you lose your phone, you cancel your phone, plan you block it, or whatever you do. Um, so that's always a risk, but no one's gonna be able to use, or know that it's your YubiKey unless they stole it from you, but then they could also steal your phone, so it's kind of the same deal. Um, so yes, it is an alternative to two-factor authentication, especially on your phone, if you have the Authenticator app, you get numbers and everything that comes once in a while. Those can be compromised because you can get the, uh, the token or the session token that generates those numbers. Um, that can be compromised if it's stored in a database, for example, to, you know, you're gonna refresh that token once in a while. You don't have to do that with a YubiKey. It's a, it's a physical hardware device that you use. Um, I'm sure there's lots of other uses for it and there's stuff that I don't understand. I'm still getting my head around it. Um, but I think that's kind of, kind of where it's at. So it's an alternative to your uh, phone, a two-factor authentication. So you still need your username and password. You then have the UB key that you plug in, you touch it and it puts in the token, which is just a long text string, really, a bunch of letters. Um, that then is the, the two-factor authentication. And you can use it with your phone. So I use the one where I plug it into the phone um, or you can use it as NFC. There's lots of options, but yep. As always, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please leave comments below because I'd like to know more about how to use this because I'm not sure. And also, um, click that subscribe button. I'm supposed to say that because otherwise you won't. So click it now, you get free kitten. Um, other than that, that's it. Thank you for this time and uh, I'll see you again soon. Now dance.